Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Sorry for the long delay between the last one and this one. But yeah, on this one I'm going to show you how you can create a laser that reflects off surface, like so. You can make it to reflect only of mirrors or also objects. There's a boolean that you can deactivate to reflect only off mirrors. So when it hits like the cube, it stops bouncing. You can use this like to kill a player or if it hits another object, it activates a door and something like that. It's up to you. So let's start by creating the script for for the laser. Let's open it. So let's start by creating some variables. We need one called int max bounces. This is the max amount of times it can bounce of surface. We also need a private line renderer. And a serializable field private transform start point. This is the origin of the laser. And now a boolean reflect only mirror. So it passes only off the mirror if you want that. So in the start function. We need to say that the line render is equal to the get component line render that's attached to the object, like so. And let's set the position 0 for the laser to be the start point. Now in the update function we'll call the function to draw the laser. So let's say cast laser transform dot position minus transform dot forward and we'll pass two variables the current position and the forward position minus forward in my case it might change up to you but if it's the wrong side just delete the minus Now void cast laser, let's create a function, a vector tree position, a vector position, and a vector tree direction. Let's copy this and set it here. So, and now we need to create a loop for each position of the laser. So int i equals 0, i less than max bounces, i plus plus. Okay, like so. Now inside here, sorry, it's okay. Now here, let's create a, a recast that shoots array in our position and in our direction. Now we need to check what it hits. If physics dot recast our ray out hit here is the max distance the object should be I'll say 300 you can change this up to your needs Now our position equals hit dot point. So our the next position of the laser will be the hit point. And the direction will be a vector tree dot reflect direction comma hit dot normal. 
this line here will calculate the angle that the laser needs to be in the next hit. So this is our object, this is the laser, it will calculate this part here, the angle that it needs to be. So, and LDR set position, I plus one, hit dot point. Yeah, and we set the position of the line renderer in our hit. Now, if the hit transform dot name is different than mirror, and reflect only mirror we are going to create a loop and let's call it j i plus one j less or equal than five j plus plus and our line render set position j it's our hit dot point yeah like so and then we break because it's not a mirror so we say that this point is the last one and we break out of this so it doesn't bounce anymore you can change this like to a tag or whatever you want. I use a name. So if the object is not named mirror and we have reflect only mirror, the laser stops there. And that's it for the script. It's not that complicated. Now let's try it out in our object. So I use this object for the laser. You can call it whatever you want or other object it doesn't really matter. light to blue it makes more sense this is original for my red laser but it will work so we attached our blue laser and we add a line render you can change the width and all that we need to add a size of six and that's it for the line render then we need a start point I create just create a new empty object and place it wherever you want and then just drag it here and choose if we want to reflect only and then the object in my case is this one that reflects just name it mirror if you want it to bounce off that and if you play it should work and it updates in real time so we can you can move it and it will work just fine me make it bounce everywhere so you can then set this and you can see it bounces everywhere so yeah it's quite cool and you can create new cool things with it i'll be using the blue laser to activate stuff so if the player places it in the right position, it opens the door or something like that. It's up to you. Well, and that was all for this tutorial. If you want the props that I'm using, you can ask me on Discord. And I'll see you on the next one.